Yo guys, it's Jude, and welcome back to another video on my channel. So, today guys, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be previewing Aston Villa Clash with Sheffield United away from home. If you do go on to enjoy the video guys, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment down below what your time of game is going to be and how it's going to turn out. And don't forget to follow all my social media, the links will be in the description as always. So, let's get on to the video and previewing our game. So, first of all, let's talk a bit about Sheffield United. Now, Sheffield United are doing are doing very well this season, you know. Although they slipped up over the last couple of games, over the last month or so, they're, they're, they're still doing very well, sitting in 7th seventh, seventh in the league. And, you know, still one of them very strong contenders for promotion for us. And I don't think anyone, I, I, I think they're the Barnsley of uh, last season. They've come up from League One doing very, very well. And, you know... Fair play to them because I, I just think that form that I know they did very very well last season in League One. I think that form just carried on with them and they've still got that mentality in the head that they can still do very well. I think Leon Clark over the last couple of months have been a vital player to them. I think it's one of them players where, you know, he he, he just like clicks like that. He's one of them players that, you know, he he hasn't worked for him everywhere. Go, I know at Wolves it didn't. He was terrible. I just think. Sheffield is clicked for him and he's obviously scoring a lot of goals as well. Billy Sharp, who scored a lot of goals last season, is also uh, scored some goals. Billy Sharp scored eight goals, eight goals uh, last season, and uh, Leon Clark scored fifteen. Got uh, scored fifteen goals this season. So you know they're players that they definitely need to watch out for. Uh, obviously, it will be a very tough challenge for Aston Villa because Sheffield United are a very good squad this season, and they're still uh, promotion contenders, like I said. Now let's go and talk a bit about Aston Villa. Now Aston Villa, they're, they're coming off, they're in very good form at the moment. And I, I think this game has come at the right time for Aston Villa. You know, we're coming off a 3-1 win against Barnsley. And we're doing very, very well. Um, obviously Hogan getting on the score sheet again last last week. And Hogan's in, in, in really good form. And hopefully he can carry that on in Sheffield. But it will be a very tough challenge. And I think if we can beat Sheffield... And we've said this before, but if we can beat Sheffield this time around, I think it will say something about us and say that we can go up next season. It, it's going to be a hard challenge as well. We're, we're on Sky Sports, and Sky Sports, we used to be cursed on Sky Sports, but we're not cursed anymore. You know, we've won quite a few games on Sky Sports now, so that isn't a worry in a sense. <laughs> so, we we obviously need to, if we get the win, like I said, it will be vital for our season. And then we go on to the other games like Burton and Birmingham, who are hopefully winnable games. So I think that Villa will go with the same lines that they've always gone with. And I think it will be a very similar game and very similar style and very similar formation. Just because, you know, I don't see Bruce changing the formation that has won so many games this, this uh, January. And we're looking to go into February on a high uh, like we did in January. So... This is the lineup I think Steve Bruce will go with. In goal, he picks himself, Sam Johnston. He's in great form at the moment, and without him, I don't know where we'd be this season. At left back, we're gonna go with. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Alan Hutton. Alan Hutton's been very well. He's obviously took uh, Taylor's place, and I, I can't see Taylor getting back in squad at the moment. Uh, at centre backs, they pick themselves James Chester and John Terry. Very good against Forest. He let. He let in a goal at um, Barnsley from another set piece, but apart from that, he's looked very solid since he come back from injury. James Chester again is a great solid player. He always will be. Uh, right back, I'm going to go with Al Mahamedi. Al Mahamedi has been uh, been an okay player. He's had he's had off he's had he's had off games and he had really good games. Um, you know, he's one of them players that the 50-50. But again, he's one of Bruce's mates, so uh, I think he's going to get played nearly week in week out. Uh, in midfield, in the midfield, in the defensive midfield role, now it's a tough challenge. You see, because we've got Axel Tenzibwe coming in, come in, and I and I didn't feel get. I, I don't think he'll get straight into squad. I think he'll play Bicker Bjornsson. Bicker Bjornsson done extremely well, and I think we've got to give him some game time. Otherwise, he could be going. So if we give him, if well, if we give him um the game time now, then hopefully he'll stay. But saying that, there's only one dead transfer window left, so yeah, I don't think he'll go anyway. But I think we've got to keep him behind. He's been very solid. He was solid at uh, Villa Park last week. He was solid at uh, Forest. I think we've just got to keep him in there, really. 
for a couple of games and then we'll bring in Axel Hinge by either into defence or even into the midfield. Uh, on in left mid we're gonna go with Albert Adoma. He's kind of in November he was on top notch form and he kind of gone off a bit and I think Hogan took that place but he's still doing very well and I think if players can step up like was Hog what Hogan has stepped up and Adoma's not really but as long as other people keep stepping up when other players aren't scoring the goals, that's all that matters really. Um, in centre midfield, we're going to go with Conor Horahan and Jack Grealish. Jack Grealish is a vital uh, player to our season so far. And we it could you could see how much we missed him uh, at the start of the season. And I don't know if Ho if uh, Grealish has had an impact on Hogan. Because he just he's just a great player. He wins free kicks, he looks to win penalties. And he, he's just a great player. He's, he's one of the players who looks to have some fight in the team and really cares about the club. Um, on right midfield, we're going to go with Robert Snodgrass. Again, Robert Snodgrass has been outstanding, guys. You know, I, I'm surprised. I'm, I, I can see why uh, West Ham want to call him back, but he's staying here. No, he's not going anywhere. He's happy playing championship football. I think that's where he's best at the moment. He's playing really, really well. He's getting some great assists for Hogan. He's helping Hogan out a lot. And I think without Robert Snodgrass, we wouldn't Hogan wouldn't have got the goals that he'd get at the moment. Now coming up to striker, we're going to put uh, Hogan. Hogan has been outstanding since Steve Agnew's come in. I think Steve Agnew's had a massive impact on him. You can really tell that he's he's even jumping up for headers against people who are six foot tall. He, he he's confident to just run from here to here. He's absolutely outstanding, and. I, I hope he scores a lot of goals this season. Hope I hope he's a vital uh, push to our promotion. People people are saying we don't need another striker, but in my opinion, we do need another striker. We need to get a striker in uh, before the window ends. Because I don't want to say, but if he gets injured, we've got no one. And we've seen with Kadja that once they're injured, we we can't find it. There's no one out. We don't want to keep relying on Keenan Davis. So we do need to get a second choice striker because we just need cover really. But Hogan is doing very, very well. Let's get on to my predictions for the game. My predictions for the game are... It's going to be a tough challenge. And, and, I, and I think that with Sheffield United coming off a 2-1 win at Norwich as well, I think they'll be up for it. So I'm going to go with... I think we're going to snatch it. I think it's going to be 1-0 Villa. Very tight game. A bit like the Middlesbrough game, really. You know, Sheffield United, a uh, very good squad. I think, I think it'll be 1-0 Villa. Right, so this has come to the end of the video, guys. Be sure to leave your thoughts and score predictions down in the comments down below. And don't forget to turn on the bell so you don't miss a video of mine. Leave a like, subscribe, follow all my social medias. But until the next time, goodbye. If you enjoyed that video, why not watch another? Click here to watch them in full. Subscribe for more awesome content like this. Until next time, up the villa.